Lolio and cross watchers thank you guys so much for joining in i hope everybody is doing well today we are going to take a look at your love tarot reading for the month of february please keep in mind guys the messages here on youtube are general they're not going to resonate every time with every person you are more than welcome to check other signs within your birth chart it's really about the title here on this channel so if there's something in the title that resonates, there's most likely something in the message. However, I do ask if you find that the message is helpful, that it resonates with your situation, um, give it a thumbs up, comment below. Also, if you just want to support the channel, all the love and support is very much appreciated here and helps with the growth of the channel. So let's get started, Leo. Let's say a little blessing really quick. Please, Spirit, thank you for the most positive and guiding message for our subscribers. Please allow positive guidance through whatever our friends need to hear. And thank you again, Spirit, for the clairvoyance and opportunity to do these readings. Blessed be. So, Leo, let's see what we can see for you guys. Time energy is fluid, so this could have happened yesterday, could happen today, could be happening next week. It's definitely happening in February. So, understanding and belonging. So, belonging symbolizes finally fitting in, finally finding your place, okay? understanding is kind of like a deeper knowing in the wisdom of the oracle it's like coming to a higher level of understanding of why things have happened the way that they have um i do feel like there may have been something that was denied or maybe even a little bit of a storm that happened in your life recently but what i feel like is coming out here leo is um you're coming to a sense of knowing, a sense of understanding why things have happened the way that they have. Maybe you got in a personal uh, tarot reading, maybe you uh, watch videos or have had a psychic prediction, but there was, I feel like there was some sort of guidance here helping you through this because I'm not getting the sense of like, um, everything's chaotic. I'm more getting the sense like, this chaos was presented to you, Leo, but because you had the right information or took the right steps, did the right thing, um, you kind of erupted, interrupted this chaos coming into your life. So let's see here, Leo, we'll pull out some tarot cards. See what we can see for you. We'll start with the challenges, the obstacles, and where this is going, where this is headed. Let's pull this deck out. Most important message here, spirit for Leo the Lion. What do our Leo friends and subscribers need to see for the month of February? Most important message here in love, regarding love. This is in the position of the challenge. So the Six of Swords, when it's in the upright, it symbolizes moving on. It also symbolizes feeling a sense of sacrifice or having to sacrifice something, feeling like you have to sacrifice something. Um, in the reverse position, it symbolizes going backwards, going back to the past, delays. Let's see. So, <clears throat> Leo, have the Six of Swords in reverse, the Chariot in reverse, the Emperor 
with the lovers in reverse and the three of pentacles as the underlying energy. So now for some of you, the six of swords with the chariot both in reverse symbolizes delays, um, going back to the past and not causing delays. For others of you, this could be dead weight that's hold that's causing these delays, like something from your past. Maybe it's this situation that ended this unrequited love. Okay, the Emperor card here, there's a need to be practical. There's a need to stand your ground. Um, don't back down from what you believe is right. So Leo, we're going to first get a couple cards for your position, which you're coming across as, then we'll look at your partner's side, see where this is headed. For some reason, either you still feel tied to this past situation or you're still healing from this past situation, um, don't give in. If this person tries to come back for whatever reason, or if you have a sense to go back to this other person, I feel like it's kind of, it's going back to the same thing that you left. So for whatever reason you got out of that situation, that problem is still going to arise because that problem hasn't been addressed yet. So for Leo's intentions, spirit, what does do we have here for Leo's intentions? Please and thank you. So the two of swords is a crossroads. So you're at a crossroad. I feel like there's definitely a need here for um, strength, acceptance, healing. I also feel like you need a change in perspective because I feel like one, one moment you feel like you know what you want. With the two of swords in reverse, this is like paying attention. No more scattered, okay? And then the... Two of Swords in the upright is like indecisive or trying to make a decision rather. Now, I feel like because you're kind of up in the air with this decision, it's what's holding you back. It's what's causing these delays. Let's get a couple cards for your person's intentions here, Leo. See how they're coming across as for Leo's partner. Page of Cups, so this is an um, immature energy, maybe somebody who's younger than you or somebody who maybe hasn't grown fully in relationships. Um, I do feel like the magician is all the tools. It can also be a manifester, a master magician, somebody who's a very intuitive being, um, maybe even having dreams. <clears throat> I feel like they're wanting to work together or they want a relationship that's going to feel like it's working together not all in one person or the other's favor now let's get one more card out here leo and see because i'm curious okay ace of cups so i feel like they are looking for a long-term commitment they may very well even see potential in you, Leo. Now, <clears throat> for some of you, the separation could have been with this person. There could be a person that's coming back that you have a reconciliation with. For some of you, this is a completely new, with the Ace of Cups, this is a new relationship. So what's the advice for Leo Spirit moving forward? What is the advice for Leo moving forward? Please and thank you, Spirit. Advice for Leo. Okay. So take some time. Go within. Try to gain clarity on what it is that you want. What do you envision the outcome being in this situation? And I would look at the worst and best case scenario, okay? 
I do feel like there is a need for you to put your guard down. This is no more withholding and no more defensiveness. So putting your guard down and you're going to automatically let this guard down by going within and healing from the past situations, whether it's with this person or in another relationship, there's a need here for healing. I do feel like you feel a very strong connection to one of these people. So if this is the same person that's coming back from the past, then you obviously feel a strong connection with them. If this is a person that's coming back from your past while you're having to release another connection, then that very well could mean that you have a strong connection with both of these people. <clears throat> now, Leo, I am going to do an extended reading on this. In the extended, we kind of dig a little bit deeper. I pull out a different deck and we kind of weigh our options or lay out a couple cards for a couple different scenarios see what potential outcome we could get from this. And then I pull the psychic, I pull the guidance cards. So if that's something you guys want to get entered into, you are more than welcome. The link is below in the description. Otherwise, Leo, let's get you a power thought card. Most important message here for Leo spirit. What does Leo need to see? My life is a mirror. My life is a mirror. The people in my life are really mirrors of me. This affords me the opportunity to grow and change. My life is a mirror. So, so Leo, that is the message I have coming out for you guys. Thank you so much for all the love and support, liking, subscribing, sharing the content. You guys are all amazing best way to make it through this transition phase is to introspect, go within and focus on the healing process. Thank you guys again. And I look forward to seeing your beautiful souls again soon. Namaste.